That's right. She's got to put up with whatever Carolyn says. Lace, take this off. Back off. Thank you. Now, Lacey needs to hear loud talk. She needs, you know, aggressive kind of talk. You back off. So Kate is really doing a good service. Good. You wait. Wait, now you also easy. want the dog to see yeah. that okay. other dogs aren't a threat. So you can pet another dog. Good way, Lacey. And she has easy. to put up with that too. You leave it. Thank you. Good way. Oh yeah. Good girl. Oh, yeah. She's had a couple talking to. Good job. The biggest thing is she right, used to be being the center of attention. Nice. Good girl. You can't do that to a dog. Come on. You cannot convince the dog that this is. You know, uh, the most wonderful Good thing job. in the world, and then be angry about it when the dog leaves you. Wait. All right. What are you doing? What are you Good wait. Okay. You're lazy. Okay. Good job. Are you videotaping already? Mm -hmm. Good job. All right. Now, today is all about role play. It's about working your dog in a tight situation. It's about congestion. It's about taking the dog out in the world and being able to deal with it. Girl, now, we look at these classes as just kind of fun. Thank you. But truthfully, this is role play. This is other people walking up to you. This is turns. This is, this is all of the things that you need your dog to do. Walk up to the neighbor. Thank you. Go to the park. Thank you. You wait. This is the practical application. Now, a lot of places you go and you teach the dog obedience. And then you go to another class and you teach the dog rally and you teach agility and you teach and you teach each thing separate. I find that sad. Because you take the dog from one class where you have beat it up for not sitting, wait, and you beat it up for not being compliant and calm, and then you turn right around, put it into the next class, which is they're an hour long, and then you switch shift gears, and then you correct it for not doing the very things you corrected for in the first place. So many people who come here get the wrong idea that we don't do performance. That's not true. We have a dog that you can go from one performance to the other and there's not even a glitch in the communication. So all dogs start out with manners, respect, and they learn certain commands. Those are your basic tools. Once they learn those basic tools, then you can move on and do anything you want to. So I use the performance rally, obedience, agility, etc., etc., tracking, herding, all of those things. I use that to enhance people's relationship with their dog. You can kick it up to performance level, but by the time you're ready to do that, the dog is so ready, it, it's, it's working so smoothly and so steady that you have such an easy time. So the dogs that go out of there, you will work an extra month and your dog's ready to go in and win the class, which we do a lot. All right, now Lacey here, if you look back at some of those old videos, Chris brought Lacey when she was a puppy. The problem with it is, Chris really didn't take it very serious. <coughs> he liked his puppy. We didn't need a service dog. We needed just a happy dog. All I want the dog is to be able to go to archery with me and lay still. Well, you got to teach her that. If she won't do it at home, she's not going to do it out in public. I'm not going to say I told you so because I like Chris, but I told you so. 
Okay. And he's a smart man. Now, the hard thing about it is, at this point in Lacey's life, it's no longer training. It is retraining. She's now here for a month. She's doing really good. The pinch collar on her is much like training wheels. And she will eventually not need that pinch collar. But right now, Chris walks with a cane. He cannot be walking with a dog that's dragging him around. Nice. Good girl. He cannot be walking with a dog that jumps all over him. He can no longer handle a dog in his new apartment that has to pee on pads. She's got to be able to go outside, right, Chris? That's right. So his goals when he got this dog were very flawed. His goals were very short term. She was cute. Okay. Now what? Now hang on to the end of it or way back. Because we don't want the dog dependent on the line. We want the dog listening to commands. Nice. So what are the commands she knows, Carolyn? Come on. Easy. Wait. With me. Settle. Mine. Off. And mine. Home. Right? Yeah. Oh, get out of my way. Don't touch me. That would be a handy one. Good job, Lacey. Yeah. Wait. Now that's how you test to see what a dog knows, not the fact that you can hold it back. The fact that it knows the words. Good girl. Good girl. Drop the line. Now out in the yard, you can fasten the end of that line to a stake in the ground or to a fence, and you can work your dog Basically, off lead. That's it. Nice. Wait. Good girl. Good way. Is that more like it? <laughs> you should be proud of her. She's doing good. The sad thing about it is, this puppy, I worked with her when she was just four months old. She knew these things. But it was not made into a priority. It was not established as... You got no choice about this. Okay. Now our Is goal when we it? start when we start working with a dog is, Is that when it? you get done, the dog is able to be placed if it had it. Nice. Now if you went to look at this dog in someone's home, would you not say, I could live with a dog like that? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just priorities, my dear. Okay. It's not Good giving girl, her a pass easy. because she's cute. It's not Good making easy. her priority Good to be able to play with you. It's to keep your brain when there's another dog around. Good girl, okay. Good easy, now one of the fun things to do when we start Good getting job. these dogs to a point where they're dependable is we, re we reward them by adding some twists yeah. and some fun games. So when we do this, I like to add rally. I play a little obedience. I play a little, we do a lot with jumps and things like that. Not the competition. This is to develop skills, communication. If we want to go to competition, I'm not gonna teach the dog on competition. I'm gonna teach the dog the basic commands and then we move up to competition when it's appropriate. But we want a dog that is compliant and works quick and easy. As a reward for that, we add the performance. There's nothing speedy about this. First of all, people don't know where they're going. Rally is a fun, fun exercise. You can print the cards off on the American Kennel Club site and you can make your own rally cards. Um, they're, they're just all road signs is all they are. So anyway, um, we use it that way. So we're gonna have some fun today.
So the dog's behavior is the reward for what your communication skills and handling are. The fact that Kate works for kids. She was dragged around last night by two of them. Oh, Richard, I needed to see it. It was awesome. Well, you're seeing it. This is exactly what she did. So if they did it fairly, so did Kate. Off. Good job. Good off. 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 Thank you. Oh, dear. Come on. One more turn. She's there not we fun go. at all, Wait. is she? Nice. Good girl. She said she needed a book dark and all. Good job. Well, this is a dog that keeps people from being too serious. Good job. Good girl. She spends most of her time off leave. Good girl. Off. <laughs> Come on, Gators. Well, Come on, Kate. Give her a wait. Oh, you are that was most. Nice. She's trained. That was uh, very nice. She's good just not trained good to job. perform. Good so we got to get beyond. Go they have to work. Go to She's a great dog. Go She's a wonderful, perfect kids' dog. Mm -hmm. Good boy. No. No, figure it. Just don't look at that. No, 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 no. That's what I said. All right. Now, this is the purpose of rally. Rally is what we used to do, fidgeting work, to get the dog ready to do obedience. Now they've turned it into competition. This is the warm-up, right? Now, a figure eight. You know what that is. Yeah. All right, let's do a figure eight. Talk to him. Good boy. Good boy. Easy. Good. 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 That's it. Now right straight ahead. Now you're going to stop right there. Okay. You're going to turn towards Buddy. Okay. No. no just Wait. turn towards it. Oh. it. Now take, switch hands with the lead and have him go around you. Tell him around. Pull him around. And then both of you. Now come back to the left. Around. There you go. Perfect. That's it. Good. Up your comfort now, zone, right? No, you're not there was a sign right there. Now oh. your left. Turn. Okay, so you're going to go to the left. Now stop right. No, no, no. If you're trying to think, stop right there. Now you're going to turn to the right all the way around and head down towards Mike. Perfect. Talk to it. Good boy. <laughs> now you're going to do, do a U-turn into the dog. Off. 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 Nice. Right here. That one. Now that's over in the wrong place. That's got to come this way. Yep. That's it. Now here we go over here. All right. Now this again. U-turn. All the way around. No. no. There you go. Yep. Turn in. Okay. Yep. Now stop. Well, go up to the sign. Okay. Stop. Right. Not not into the sign. Right. Off. Yeah. To not the to left that. of the okay. sign. Okay. There you go. Okay. 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 One step. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Okay. You got two steps. Okay. Now three steps. Buddy with me. Pay attention. Now which way does it say to turn? About turn to the right. That's right. <laughs> Straight back down here. You're doing good. And what does that say? Oh, beautiful. Brr, beautiful. Now what does that one say right in front of you? You turn all the way around. That's it. Off. Off. Tight. Off. Tight. Off. And then the right turn. And you're out the door. Well, look at that, would you? There you go. Yeah, he's spinning. There you go. off the floor because too many people do this well you need to watch where you're going so if you're looking for an exit sign you can't be looking here no you don't the idea is that the dog's working on its own yeah the dog should be listening to the sporting dog she's ready to go out the field and work this this is not fun she wants to have some fun. Stop it right now. Now, when you're doing this, 
thank you. The idea is not to hold her in place. The idea is what? No, she, she's fine. Leave him alone. He's fine. No, leave him alone. You can think. Stay, Kathy. Stay. Settle. Good dog. Good girl. All right. You can't take care of everybody. Now that's on video. Delete that. No, no. It's important. Okay. Now, she'll remember that. She doesn't remember that Now, the beauty of this doing this is we have the opportunity to really make it clear to the dog what happens if you're not next to me. Not the fact that we can hold the dog there. That's what you tried to do all the time, is you would have a short, tight lead on her trying to hold. She would stay with you. It's temptation when you have a free spirit, which very much, that we hold the dog in place. Tammy holds the dog in place because Tammy has a balance problem. And if that dog throws her off at all, she's down. So her lead is the next thing too tight. So make no mistake, there is a point when your lead is connected, but that is not you teach. So when we're working a dog like Bridget, or like Lacey, I remember I kept telling you, loosen up that lead. And it was unnatural to you because of the balance. That's why it's very difficult to train your own dog, your own service dog, if in fact you have a challenge. You can't train what you don't have. So that's why the in-house training is so very important when you're dealing with service dogs. Now, in a dog like Woody, he's so small, and Kathy does help Tammy when she comes to class. But Tammy's working very hard. And that's a small dog, so that doesn't take a lot of effort. Now, the other thing about using Rally for training. When Carolyn tried to get too precise with Kate, what happened? She shut down. We have to loosen up and keep it fun. Or you take the dog back, do some more precise training, and then you have the right to do it. But every dog works differently. Now this is not a super sensitive dog. So if we have a short lead, and all we can do is this little thing like this, that's not a correction for this dog. She gives it a shot. Bridget, honey, want to learn to be a good dog? Good dog. She does. Come on, Bridget. Let's go. Good dog. So turns, good dog. You know when I tell you, off, good, off, Good job. This is a kind event. Easy. We're not worried about the performance. We're worried about this dog paying attention. That's the purpose of this, not the performance. I don't care what she does. I don't care if I switch hands. We want her paying attention and staying near us. So when you see everybody else doing performance, you see how easy it is, even for Carolyn, to kick into performance mode. If your dog's not ready, you're just going to stand there and struggle with it. These young dogs, these new dogs, these dogs that haven't had a lot of experience, don't worry about it. The value is in the turns. Now, Colleen didn't have a clue where she was going. She was trying to figure it out. But he was right with her the whole time. Who cares which direction you go? I'm not going to give her a prize. Oh, now she's just 
disappointed. <laughs> Bridget, come on. We also have to give this dog a chance to collect her thoughts. Hi, babe. Easy. Good dog. Off. Hey, off. Good dog. Come on, big girl. Easy. Oh, very nice. Take your time. Good dog. Hey, off. Very nice. See, talk her down. Don't try to just manhandle her. Come on, baby girl. Good dog. Wait. Off. What an excellent dog. Off. Off. Good. Wait. Oh, what a good dog. Take your time. Wait. I don't care if she sits. I want her to wait. Take it farther than you need it. If they need to be patient, you have them wait longer. Come on, babe. Wait. Good. Bridget, come on, babe. Good girl. Easy. Good dog. Wait. Off. Hey, I said off. Thank you. Off. 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 Come on. Very nice. No. Yes. Yeah. When I take her out and, and we're on the street, so that means there's no traffic. So usually I have her six to eight feet loose. And she likes to be in uh, three spaces in front of me. And She'd I, like to be 50 feet from me she because she wants to hunt. She doesn't hold. Oh, no, no, she's she doing her. good. She just walks right. that distance. Exactly. So right. when I turn, if I do an about turn right. and go, she hears the change right. in my feet. And so she doesn't need the correction. Exactly. She turns, but I can't make her, I can't get her to walk. It's but you notice when she, I was doing this, First of all, she has to learn to walk next to you in certain situations. This is going from, come on, that freedom of the line, to you walk next to me, we're walking through a crowded place. That's what this is. This is working your way up to a good with me. Okay? So when I had her turn, come here, baby. Wait. Good. Off. Very nice. Very nice. Off. When you just throw an off at them, sometimes it isn't as pretty. Come on, baby girl. Wait. You got a wonderful weight. Take advantage of it. Off. Hey. And she does good off. She does. She's doing fine. Off. But this is tighter control. She doesn't like to be close no, she doesn't. I don't demand. That's why every now and then we have to demand it. Because you're going to find yourself at the vet's office or in a place and it's got to happen. They all like their head space. But that's why we do this exercise so that they can walk near us and learn to maneuver here too. This isn't the norm. This is when we need it. This is when we go into Walmart. This is when we, you know, go into the vet's office, into a uh, vet store, dog-friendly place. There's a point at which you need that dog here. Now, Thor walks on how long is your line? About 30 feet, isn't it? It depends. It's either an 18 or a 30 foot okay. line. But you can walk him up close if you oh, have to take him somewhere. Yeah. Right. Julie, I mean, Otis loves space. He's a big old great dame. But she can walk him next to her if she has to. Bach loves space. But he can walk next to you if he wants to. That's why you start out with all that freedom and you work it down this way. These are the fidgety 
terms that you take, you leave it. Good job. There's a time and a place where she, leave it. I said, leave it. She's not allowed to sniff. She's not allowed to visit. She's not allowed. We have to teach them both. So for the most part, you may eat in front of the TV on a, you know, on the coffee table. But there is a point when you go to a better restaurant and you sit at the table, and that's what you're doing. Leave it. Thank you. So we have to give her a smattering of each. You've done a great job. She's wonderful on a long one. This is where dogs fail. We have to teach this that when you say with me or side or whatever word you want to use, she understands this. Does that make sense? I use with me and side interchangeably, but maybe I shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. Side should be a, a higher level. With me is just you're walking kind of near me and we're still. So, we're, so yeah. would side be what you just did? Here? Exactly. And then how do I break, how do I shorten that distance so that I don't You have only to... say side when you're actually here. I would have walked through this pan, this pattern exactly as I did. Leave it. And once she was warmed up and I knew what she was going to do, then I would work side. Side. So side becomes your much more demanding command. Now, side to me is the preliminary to heal. You're putting pieces together. So, side means you're walking next to me. It doesn't mean you automatically sit. It means you're walking next to me. Heal would mean you walk next to me, you automatically sit, you automatically blah, 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 blah. But side is the relationship here. With me is just you're wandering around. I don't, you know, if I tell you to sit, that's fine. Bridget, side. Good side. Get here. Good. Off. Now she has to understand off. Side means side, even with turns thrown in. Good side. Around. Side. Off. Nice. Come on, babe. Side. Get up here. Good. Come on. Get up here. Side. Excellent side. Off. Off. Good. Side. Good side. Off. Okay. Off. 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 Good. Wait. Nice. Wait. Nice. Good side. Get up here. Now the fact you've done a good job, hey, off. Off. Hey, off. Off. Nice. This just speaks volumes to the job you've actually done training. You just haven't put it together yet. These signs help you walk straight lines and have better focus. At least at the beginning, when you want the dog to sight, you, you should create some sort of visual environment. For, it's more for the person. Now, personally, this drives me crazy. I don't like the signs because I work according to the dog. So if that dog needs an about turn, I'm going to give it one, whether it's got a sign or not. I don't follow direction very well. <laughs> but I work this way. So I walk forward. That's what Carolyn was trying to do. Kate doesn't work that way yet. She's still into the with me. She walked neither side. She's having a good time, happy, crazy. Fine. So when we start getting serious, Kate just shut down. It's a good reminder. So if I said to Bridget, Hi Bridget. Hi babe. Good job. Come on. Good job. Good, come on. Oh, what an excellent dog. I don't care where she's at. 
If I say come on, it is come on. Good baby. Good come on. But when you start working that side, everything else gets better. It works at an average. Good come on. Come on, babe. Come on, Bridget. Good job. Come on, babe. Come on. Hey. Come on. Come on. You can't do that? Are you broken? If you drop it. <laughs> well, that's the whole idea. Bridget, come on. Oh, good job. Nothing pretty about that, but she's paying a perfect attention. Good, come on. Can you rid of her? Come on, babe. Come on, Bridget. Wait. Look what you've done. You've done a beautiful job, but we got to put the pieces together now. Oh my gosh, that thing's chasing you. <laughs> He's a puppy. Too much serious work just kills that enthusiasm. So if you keep those three words pure, you can call out any dog you want. Bridget, come on. Oh, good dog. Bridget, with me. <coughs> good dog. Good job. Bridget, side. Hey, side. See that? Right Ooh. into her. Side. Off. Come on. But your voice changes. Side. Good side. You can't stay the nanny for very long. Why pick on the dog about it? Wait, hey, you better sigh, thank you very much. She knows what she's doing. But if we try to work that too much, first of all, we're bored. And when we're bored, the dog is. Make sense? I mean, that was beautiful. She was the perfect dog to show that. You're welcome. Loosen up. There were um, he was tr Ray was trying to be a little bit too demanding of her when she was a puppy. Need to loosen him up. Good girl, Bridget. That's very nice. All right.